So these are European paper wasps, Polistes dominula, an invasive species. They look like uh, long-legged, uh, skinny yellow jackets. They're not the typical brown or black of our native paper wasps. Uh, these guys will nest like regular paper wasps in this little uh, umbrella-shaped little paper nest un hanging underneath an overhang. But they're also notorious for using little holes. And in this case, uh, this fence, you can see where there's an end cap missing and they've built their paper nest inside so it's sheltered and so forth. The only problem is it gets overheated, thus they have to fan it and temperature regulate it. The weird thing is uh, this whole fence line, uh, it's amazing. Everywhere where there's a where there has been an end cap missing where there's a where there's a hole in there there is a nest there's 17 of these paper wasp nests bad news is they've already been stinging people and hit people hit the fence and so forth so not a good thing we were going to have to unfortunately well actually i don't know but unfortunately we're gonna have to destroy these nests um as they are an invasive species and uh and and, and not something we want around anyways i don't think it's a huge loss uh, these are a little bit unusual and they have some advantages over our native ones in a couple of ways. For one, they reproduce earlier and then they build, build bigger nests so there's more of them. There are also many of our native ones are picky about what kinds of things caterpillars usually they hunt. These guys will eat just about anything so they have a more diverse diet and that allows them to outcompete. Uh, and since our native animals don't have a good protection against them, they really wipe them all out everywhere they go. The other thing is that even though they have a dominant female that lays the eggs, they also um, will have um, more than one female laying, the next dominant one and so forth. And if the dominant one leaves, uh, dies or whatever, and you know what, what you would consider the queen, then someone else takes her place and they continue nesting. Uh, so again, an invasive species, a nasty one, Polistes dominula, European paper wasp, and in this case, really unfortunate, they're all over our fence line. 17 nests in less than 100 yards of fence. It's ridiculous and something that we have to take care of because they've already been stinging people. European paper wasp, Polistes dominula, an invasive species that breeds, breeds more, breeds earlier, has uh, less particular about what things it'll eat and can make use of other habitat spaces that ours don't and thus uh, give them a competitive advantage over all of ours. Again, it's kind of neat watching them fan though. Uh, it's the one big drawback. I got this armored protection, but it gets too hot. You can actually see them fanning, trying to cool off their nest because it is so darn hot inside there. The inside there would be a paper nest with hexagonal cells just like any of the other ones, like uh, any other wasps, like uh, I should say a communal wasp. Things like a yellow jackets, hornets, uh, and of course paper wasps all have that. And it's hard to make out, but inside there, there is those cells just hanging. European paper wasps.